Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where a whole lot of nothing is still happening. But it's, you know, very important nothing. I'm trying to get my really broken economy to actually work. And it's actually getting there. We're getting very close to having it work. I am going to go ahead and create a sector down here. For you. And for you. Excellent. Real, actual, non-frontier sectors. Construction complete. Unfortunately, Atmir Prime is still not ready to go for another year. That is highly unfortunate, in fact. I really do wish it was ready to go. It'd be nice to have growth on, on that planet. How long on this terraform? A thousand days, we are arriving in 800 days. So the colony ship will be sitting around for like 200 days, but... I guess that's fine. It only costs one energy credit now, instead of the eight energy credits that colony ships used to cost per month, so that's more efficient. Slightly, anyway. I think I'm giving a little too much to my sectors right now, though. They're sitting on 9k. I'm going to cut back my sector investment. That'll help my economy. Yeah, that's helping my economy a lot, actually. And then once my new colonies fully come online, I should be able to just rampage. So looking at the Confederation of Jabasa, I declare war on them, and it looks to me like assuming I move quickly enough, I can just sweep over here, directly through Norgan, cut them off over here, take Grokin to cut off their the Democratic Cardu Cooperative from helping them, and then it's just divide and conquer from there. Like, they have very little, except it's super weird that they have not colonized this particular system. I have to wonder what's going on with that. I would need to actually enter it with a science ship to be able to continue pushing through. So I think the goal then, if I make some claims here, would be to take Lizek, Ilya, like that, and then, well, looking at it, I would also like to take the faithful have claimed a new world. Well, realistically, that's all we need. Nekar, Neshmet would be nice. Particularly Nekar, because then we can cut them off entirely. That would be a fantastic place to take. And I would love to take Grokin from the Democratic Cardu Cooperative as well. What do we have? Do, do we have that claimed? We do not. We would need 112... I think that's going to be the next thing that we go for, in terms of claims. Yeah, we take Grokin, we take Nekar, 
and they're just completely cut off. Now that's a huge land grab. I'm not sure if we can actually get all of it because that would System require three complete. invasions. Including of their capital. It'd be a little extreme, perhaps. We need 26 influence up there. And then we need... Three influence here. We're currently making enough to get it next month. So... We grab this. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Like so. Oh hey, ion thrusters. That's gonna be handy. Also cruisers. That's gonna be handy too. And then for Nekar, what do we actually need? Uh, 134 more influence. Make that 130. So that's gonna take some time. But that's the goal. Claim Nekar. Take basically all of this. Well, I guess more like all of this minus Neshmet. Yeah, I think that would be the goal. For that to happen. Please, Alpaca. I need more Elgate insights. The Alpacas don't want you to have more Elgate insights. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Forge World isn't automated. There we go. Let's make the Forge World automated because I said that I would be testing out how running everything basically automated would work. Except the Empire Capital. I'm not running that automated, but we do have unemployed pops. So let's go for a mining district. There we go. And Atmir did actually finish up, so that needs to be an industrial world. There we go. And then we have a little bit over a year for Higashikata. And I also want to go ahead and upgrade our shipyard to a Starhold. And build another defensive platform for Weir. And then hope that Dorfil comes online sometime this century. That the would be nice. believers are fighting amongst themselves. Hello, Confederation of Jabasa just declared on the Gorf Commerce Guild mm -hmm. again. That's probably something you care about. And not really. They're going to be pushing down between you and Orbis, probably, from this war. That would be what I would expect, anyway. Construction complete. Okay, so, the other question is, with this Titan, when do I actually want to go after these Marauders? Construction complete. Because I can theoretically, as long as I'm careful with my positioning, I can theoretically take them now. Well, maybe not the 9k stack, but a lot of these I could take. I should probably wait until I have a little more tech, though, realistically. My tech is just so bad. Although, strangely, I'm keeping up with you in tech. I don't know how. 
I don't have a single science world. Like, not even my empire capital. I just have the research labs that you start with. The next several buildings I make there will probably be research labs, though. Okay, so how much more influence do I need to claim Nekar? 79.4, so it's still going to be a while. I have a consumer goods deficit again. I'm gonna build another civilian industry on my generator world. Unfortunate, but I feel like it has to be done. Crystal infused plating, no boy. Nice. Fifteen months. My last terraforming finishes in thirty days. Make that fifteen days. Colonized planet. Excellent. We are spreading our faith to a new world. And would you look at that? I'm out of consumer goods again. Okay. Time to buy more. Well, my economy and I have is... a new civic. Nice. My economy is definitely improving. It's getting a lot better, in fact. So this was going to be a mining world. Yeah. Should I make it a science world, though? I feel like I have a lot of minerals. But then again, I can use a mining world to change minerals into exotic goods. Which I'm currently not using, but uh, that'll change. We also need a building here, and I'm going to go for science. Construction complete. A research lab. Let's go. Still need a little bit more influence to claim Nekar. 42 to be precise, so it'll be about a year before we can declare on the Confederation of Jabasa. Which, I mean, I don't know that my alloys will be ready for that one, but we'll see. Keeping them spent down nicely, at least. Your alloys? Yeah. Not banking them. I have a huge I don't know alloy if you have deficit right now. Alloys right now. 
I have a huge alloy deficit. In order to fully rebuild my fleet and get all of my uh, get all of my defensive platforms up to snuff, I need a grand total of about seven thousand alloys. Which is, you know, a fair amount. If I was to buy it in the marketplace, I would need roughly 60k energy Incoming credits worth. Transmission. I mean, I will happily take that. Construction complete. That's a lot of I'm energy not... credits worth of alloys. I'm at plus 52 a month right now. I have no use for them. So take them. Okay. Well, they're gone. <laughs> Beta aliens, huh? Well, at least they're not alpha aliens. Those would be spooky. Construction complete. I'm at Our the point right now where I'm really just having to go through research so I can actually start building up more stuff. I've kind of just complete. been like 90% AFK and just watching YouTube while I'm... Mm -hmm. That makes sense. The non-believers are fighting amongst themselves. Oh, Ravagers are declaring war on Our consumer ships products. Have been improved. That, uh, that sounds right. Anyway, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I will continue ramping up in preparation for the fight against the Confederation of Jibasa. Subscribe for more, and we will see you all next time.